question for this week. What is that question, good sir? Keeping with the theme of the the, the week here, uh, my question to you guys is, is there somebody up and coming in the WWE or in NXT that can drive the fans crazy like Daniel Bryan did and keep it going for however long they can. Mm-hmm. Like, so, is there, is there somebody next an- another Daniel Bryan type? Like, I and mean, we're talking about like huge fan favorite, like somebody that yes. really kind of changes the, the, the flow of things mm-hmm. because people are so behind mm-hmm. them. Yeah. If, yes. if, if, if I can go, uh, um, go I think, see, I don't want to say it's obvious, but just judging by the talent, uh, up and down the main roster and even in the NXT. Our NXT band's not for this segment, I hope. But uh, I say it's Sami Zayn. Um, just the the magic that uh, transpired when he won the NXT Championship, that year and a half long chase for the title. Um, and, and just watching the reaction, I mean, you're, you're talking about a Daniel Bryan like uh, pop. Sami Zayn got that. Mm-hmm. The fans got behind Zayn. Not only is music infectious, so is his personality, his smile, his drive, his work ethic. If you don't like Sami Zayn, then you don't have a soul. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But <laughs> no, you're not. That's no, <laughs> no, you're I'm not. not. No, I'm not. But that's the point I'm trying to make. Sami Zayn is like is the people's champion, and right. he will be. Not to steal from The Rock, but can you guys agree with that? I mean, that's just, that's my take. I think Sami Zayn is the next guy, the next Daniel mm-hmm. Bryan. Oh yeah. Certainly. Uh, I mean, it, it, as long as the injuries don't get in his way, I think he's definitely on that trajectory, right? So, um, I've got one. Oh, go ahead. i got one. Go ahead. I, I'm not the biggest fan, and Matt Mike knows this, but Bailey. Yeah! yeah. Bailey. Keep mine, by the way. Yeah. I, Keeping up. Bailey, ba- Bailey has that charisma and that, <laughs> like, user-friendliness that it's really easy to, to connect with her. And and what I find so much interesting about Bailey right now, talking about Daniel Bryan, is that just like Daniel Bryan wasn't the cookie cutter uh, huge guy, Bailey's not the cookie cutter like total diva girl. And that's like at, at the same time the, the danger about Bailey, but it's it's what makes her so unique and so better and why I think She's gonna be like the next big thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she can be the next John Cena and Daniel Bryan combined. Because, wow! Like, no, he's, he's as a connection and and she's a good wrestler. I can see it. I can see it definitely. Yeah. Uh, going off of Tonyos because mine's sort of similar to his. Uh, if we're going the realm realm of women uh, as well, uh, Sasha Banks. Um, I don't think I. I don't think there's a person out there that has been so widely praised as her. I think there's very few, minuscule, few people who would have bad things to say about Sasha Banks. Um, obviously, there's people like Tonio who you know aren't big Bailey fans, um, or there are people like uh, in contrast, like once I know Riz mentioned at the NXT show that. Uh, so it's not nice things about Bailey, uh, which is not cool. Um, but don't bring that up, please. No, yeah, uh, but yeah, I I think she's one of those people that can really transcend. She has that wrestling ability. She also has that personality and that ability to connect with people. Um, I I think that's really the big, the big driving forces, and that what that would mean make her. That's what would make her so similar to Daniel Bryan in that sense. Okay. Uh, so I, I got one, and I don't know. I don't know if this is. In the, I hope this is in the realm of your question, but I, I, I think he's the one that actually has a head start, of course, coming in. And and some the discussions of how things are booked the last couple of weeks makes you think they're definitely putting him in the Daniel Bryan role as far as the programming goes. But uh, I think AJ Styles could be that guy, uh, very very next, um, because I mean people can't stop chanting him. Like, like I, 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 segments are happening where he's not even in, and I hear people start to chant. And in my mind, that's usually when people are being assholes and chanting CM Punk and realizing they're chanting AJ Styles instead, like, is significant for me. And I feel like if they keep going with this, um, 
I feel like hopefully they're leaning into that more than they normally do. Like, for instance, they did with Daniel Bryan, um, you know, before they actually let him go with things. Um, I think he's definitely on the trajectory to do that. Um, and hopefully they don't mess it up. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Mike? Um, I, w- I feel like this one's the most obvious. And this is just maybe me. And it might not be on the forefront of everyone's mind because he's injured right now. But Cesaro. Mm. I feel like Cesaro has been kind of the same way that early Daniel Bryan was, only Cesaro didn't have the benefit of being in the NXT competition. Like, Cesaro's been given shitty gimmicks. He's been not been used properly. properly. And I think if him and Tyson Kidd didn't get injured at the same time, they were on the trajectory of the Daniel Bryan and Kane Team Hell No team up where people were really, really starting to get behind both of them at the same time. Mm -hmm. And they were getting comedy bits, and they were having good matches, and they they were starting to rise up together. And I think Cesaro could have burst forward from that. And I still think he can. I mean, if they come back around the same time, or if they, or if Cesaro just comes back and he's automatically thrust into a feud of like Kevin Owens or something like that, like someone to give him that boost. I think Cesaro is the next guy because he has more going for him than Brian did because he is the the build Vince McMahon is looking for. Like, dude is personable as hell. Like, he can speak. 18 different languages or whatever it is. Like they just need to strap the rocket onto him like they did for Roman Reigns. And I feel like that would be just right there. Mm-hmm. I, and then he had the closest thing I made to anybody of like a yes movement style thing with the whole Cesaro section stuff. And it was so unfortunate to when he got injured because he had built a good deal of momentum more than any of the pushes he had gotten before, you know? Okay. Uh, Matt, do you have one? <laughs> he's he's working on that. Um, what, what was the question? Who is the next Daniel Bryan? Okay, I have an idea. Or, or close to Daniel Bryan. No, I get it. I get it. Who's who's the next darling? Who's the one yes. all the fans are going to demand? All right, I, gotta, I, I know where you're going. I got a little off the wall idea. I got a little off the wall suggestion, and it's kind of cool because it's kind of like like twice the size of Daniel Bryan while being generally the exact same person as Daniel Bryan. Luke Harper mm. might be the next Daniel Bryan. Yeah. I feel like a kind of like a sense of uh, general appreciation of Luke Harper. And I think it's only going to build over time. He's, he has awesome matches. He's almost always entertaining. He finds a way to draw your attention while he's standing next to those other two goofs behind Bray Wyatt and kind of make you appreciate him. Well, he's making a silly face or doing something weird with his eyes, you know. He's just an all-around entertaining guy. He never does anything that makes you hate him, really. I mean, he's always kind of awesome. Um, he's going to have this match with Brock Lesnar. I'm going to be like, let's see Luke Harper kick some ass. So, um, yeah, I think, um, I, hey, it may not happen tomorrow, but in time, I could see the fans demanding Luke Harper. Okay. Um one answer that I thought was going to be mentioned, and I'm surprised it hasn't, uh, I think he's not he, he's he's champion now. When he gets when Finn Balor gets called back called up to the WWE, when he does, he's going to be in that same realm as Tyler Breeze, Cesaro, and ever, like all those meshed in one. But he will have AJ Styles in his corner, I, th- I think, for the most majority of it. So I'm kind of just shooing him off a, l- a little bit uh, because I just thought of something. Kalisto. Kalisto has been putting on match after match after match of really good wrestling. And he's one of those guys who is by far improved. He's better than Sin Cara. He's better than anybody they put him with. He's better than Del Rio right now. And they're just going to push him to Del Rio and just bring him back and forth, back and forth, like a ping pong ball, using the United States title. 
they have something with Kalisto. They have their Ray light. I'm not saying it's Ray yet, but they have their Ray light. And I, I want to see them push him a little bit more. So I know Ray light sounds like a very off brand version of Sunny Delight. No, I was I was going more I was going more Bud, but I get that's it's fair. Like it, it's Ray, spelled, Ray it, Light sounds like the tiniest wrestler of all time. It, 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 <laughs> it is spelled L I E E, so not L I G H T, L I T E, like all the so, other. Beers. So it's an off brand light bright. Is what you said yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Say light bright. Yeah, light bright. I know what light bright is, Riz. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well.